Hey und herzlich willkommen zu einer weiteren Folge Genshin Impact. Schön, dass ihr wieder mit dabei seid. Uh, wir sind hier letztes Mal stehen geblieben und wir wollten eigentlich mit dem Grafen sprechen. Ähm, das sollte gleich hier sein, genau. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? That's geht nicht. Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Um... Was könnte die Fatui denn da noch von uns wollen? Yikes! You're right, Signora! <lacht> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. <lacht> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Paimon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. Okay, we must need to Boo Boo Hut again. Das mal holen wir die Errungenschaft ab. Mutige Abenteurer. Beauftrage andere für dich zu arbeiten, ohne dich dabei vom Morgen aufhalten zu lassen. In gewisser Weise ist mir schon ein bisschen eingeschränkt worden. Okay, na dann gehen wir mal rüber. Und gucken, ob wir das finden, was Jean Lee sucht. Ich glaube, wir müssen oben durch, oder? Ich glaube ja. Ich war schon lange nicht mehr dort. Und hier ist recht nicht. Hier war ich doch nie da. So, da oben ist das Gebäude. Ups. Mal gucken, ob wir es finden. Boo-Boo Pharmacy. Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out and Paimon will bring up the rear. Okay, Paimon hat wieder mal Schuss. Finde die Quelle Geheimnis von Stimme. Also wenn es der größte Nachgehen ist, Paimon ja noch. Jokes on you! Paimon floats! So height is no restriction! Anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's... a zombie! Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then... Chi-Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi-Chi is a zombie. Sag das, das wäre die normalste Sache der Welt. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? 
Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. Das kann hier noch länger dauern. I'm afraid that she's probably right. It's to do with her orders. Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi-Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Ich bin nicht sicher, ob ich das richtig verstanden habe. Hmm. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret, installed on Mount Chinhung by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chinhung Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out! Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adept beast. Did you want to add anything else, or...? No. Just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. What it looks like... Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. That's what that was Swedish. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a coca goat? This can be an interesting aufgabe werden. Suchen nach dem Guizhong Geschütz. Okay, wo was wir dahin? Ich mich mal zum Berg. Irgendwo da unten. Dann gehen wir mal zu diesem Geschütz und hoffen, dass wir irgendwelche Hinweise auf diese komische Kokosziege finden, was auch immer das sein soll. So. Und versuche das schon Geschütz. Paimon can totally believe it took an adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Aw, oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. 
So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Cool Ersatzteile aus der Gerätekammer. Jetzt müssen wir mal wissen, wie wir da reinkommen. Oh! Äh, das ging jetzt ein bisschen zu einfach. Okay, wir machen jetzt erstmal die Kisten hier kaputt. Okay, das geht nicht kaputt. Dann können wir die Tore öffnen. Schon mal sehr gut. Oh. Autumn. Ja, nicht, leider nicht. Äh, ja, ich glaube, wir haben es schon. Wir müssen uns bei Shongli melden. Beziehungsweise müssen es erstmal reparieren. Ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over here we have... nothing. And over there... more nothing. Hey! Just what do you think you're doing? So you fixed up this turret, because you're planning to do what, exactly? Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Ha! <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. It might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces, and that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Ja, oh, die wollen wohl auf die Fresse, ne? Na dann. Watch out! Boring! Und ich sehe gar nichts. Order guide you! Stabilize. This is long overdue. Hey there. So, weg mit dir. Du auch. Der hier ist noch lästig. No touching. Gather. Watch out. Watch out. Jetzt kommen noch mehr von denen. So, du weg. Du auch, du störst. Oh, da geht das nicht so gut. Born of Ice and Frost. This is order. Okay, noch mehr. For Rex Lapis. Watch out! A proper send off from the Spina with love. I will have order. Okay, aber wir haben es gleich. These little lice didn't know who they were messing with. 
Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi-Chi. Oh, yeah, that! So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. Ah, <sighs> which means. Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Explain that we could not find a cocoa goat, and review our next step. Good idea! We did our best, and that's what counts! Here we go to Bubu, hit on so much Chichi off. Oh, schade. I thought we couldn't defend them. Hmm, okay, then give it back. Let's be here and teleport here. Was denn jetzt? Ganz komisch. Naja, dann gehen wir mal zu Chichi und berichten ihr, dass wir dieses Ding nicht gefunden haben. Diese komische Ziege. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Chi Chi, can you noch irgendwelche weiteren Hinweise geben? Coco Goat milk is tasty. So. Tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adepta Beast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Huh? <sighs> I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Liyue proverb goes, all things are random and... Um, so how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. Ja, toll. Danke, Paimon, dass ich uh, die Illusion eines Kindes zerstören darf. Um, ja... Kokosmilch kommt nicht von Kokosziegen. No, Im impossible. Seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. Wir sollten sie nicht stören. <lacht> Someone learned a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi Chi. Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Paimon thought Chi Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. Ah, the medicine, the snake is speaking. Uh, wir sind hier in Liyue. Hier kann da einen nichts mehr überraschen. 
prefer to stay silent. But faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Cheng Sheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Phew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million mora. Top quality. Guaranteed. Da drauft doch die Goldstube aus. Drei million? You might as well just rob the golden house. Oh, but the chasing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself, though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number! We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. Direct, aber wahr. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? 20 Minuten später. Was macht er denn so dämlich? Coco Goat! Coco Goat! <lacht> my sides hurt! Oh my goodness! I cannot believe you fell for that! Hey! Less laughter, more sympathy! I'm almost in tears over here. Ah, uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say two million nine hundred and ninety thousand mora. Na, wie großzügig. That's like zero difference from three million. Hmm. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Also an innocuous number in and of itself, though practically speaking, it is a whole ten thousand less than the original sum of three million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Chi Xing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Liu saying goes, the walls have ears. Then does the unvergänglichkeit on his place. Eine weitere Errungenschaft wird man freigeschalten. Schutz von Kulturgütern. Repariert das alte Gerät selbst ohne die Kokosziegel gesehen zu haben. Ja, da wurden wir ganz schön hinter das Licht geführt. Okay, na dann begeben wir uns auf den Platz. Ich hoffe, wir haben jetzt dann endlich alle Vorbereitungen fertig. Geht schon ziemlich lange so. Ah. Irgendwie habe ich das Gefühl, wir kommen nicht so wirklich voran. Ah. Oh, da 
da sind wir. Und wir haben den Duft. Und ich hoffe somit endlich alles. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Oh, finally! Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Es war eine sehr bizarre Reise bisher. Odd. Uh, ich bin nicht sicher, ob wir das Leben der Reichen und Mächtigen voll und ganz erlebt haben. <lacht> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided to treat you to a meal. Äh, uh, Li lädt uns ein. Oh, ah, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Tonight I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Liu. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor, at third round knockout. Drei Becher Rausch, klingt ja super. Einladen zum Essen, warte auf die verabredete Zeit zwischen 18 und 23 Uhr. So, schon wieder eine Errungenschaft. Langer Abschied, bereit als Fitner, Deppen Abschied vor. Ja, das ging jetzt wirklich lange. Ähm, da können wir mal die Zeit vorspulen, würde ich sagen. So. Et voilà. Il est tout autre coup. Hein? Hätte ich gesagt, an der Angelstelle? Das ist ja weit und breit keine Angelstelle. Das macht ja überhaupt gar keinen Sinn. Ach egal, Hauptsache hat seine Geldbörse mitgebracht. Das Wichtigste. Ja, ja, ich würde mich gern setzen. Okay. Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. Also können wir endlich was Alkoholisches trinken? I ordered some wine fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. Das hätte ich es mir nicht denken können. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Hey, there's even a storyteller here. Great atmosphere. Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Imagine. The weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold! The glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. They say that when Lady Ningguan ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none. But her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind 
like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyuan, like ink stains and white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough- Tiantuan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Lily locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia, and we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Paimon, lessons gain. Wait, I am not with the Millilith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Chising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Secretary? Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Chising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite her to come here. I wish to meet her. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. Ihr Abschiedsbesuch. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation from the Liu at Qixing. Paimon still can't believe it. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. We should be on our best manners. Paimon hat mal wieder was vor. <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there. Kapitel 1, die Gitterakte, ein aufsteigender Stern. Naja. Also, erstmal würde ich dazu sagen... Oh. Geostempel haben wir freigeschalten für den äh, Illumini. Also die Geschichte war sehr, sehr cool inszeniert. Hat mir sehr gefallen. Ähm, wir haben jetzt Ganyu auch in der Geschichte kennengelernt. Und es wird jetzt sicher spannend weitergehen. Äh, können wir da etwas abholen? Ja, können wir tatsächlich. Das nehmen wir doch gerne. So. Ähm, ja. Die Hauptquest würde aber erst ab Abenteuerstufe 28 weitergehen. Das heißt, wir müssen uns bis dahin wieder eine andere Beschäftigung suchen, um, ähm, ja, um Abenteuerstufe 28 zu erreichen, damit wir an der Hauptquest weiterfahren können. Wir sind, ja, Arbeiter waren drei Viertel von Abenteuerstufe 26. Da müssen wir noch Abenteuerstufe 27 haben und dann haben wir, ja, können wir weitermachen an der Hauptquest. Uh, wir haben noch eine Errungenschaft. Der Abschiedsbesuch schließt der, schließt der Abschiedsbesuch ab. Ja, Hammer. Und nach dem Jahr gemacht sollen wir auch schon Lee treffen. Also ich bin gespannt, wenn wir ins Jahr gemacht gehen können. So. Das war's jetzt aber auch von dieser Folge Genshin Impact. Ich danke euch ganz, ganz herzlich fürs Zuschauen und ich sehe uns bei der nächsten Folge wieder. Tschüss!